our uh, Guidewire Insurance Suite journey that we called Aviva Plus started with the desire that we had uh, to get rid of that uh, perception of insurance as slow, old-fashioned, ineffective. So this drove us uh, to adopt uh, a greenfield approach uh, to go beyond uh, the typical constraints that we face when it comes to radically change uh, processes and systems. So we were free to design around our customer needs uh, exactly processes and propositions the customer wanted, so free from any constraints that we had in the past. Customers at the center of a new ecosystems of services where we fast developed new touch points for a new customer experience. So that after two years, we are now with more than 50% of our new business, including all non-motor lines of business online with Aviva Plus. And this is the path we are still following to grow our portfolio of policies, to grow our capabilities, and involving a number of people of the team in this program. So, Lorenzo, what is the future of the program? Vittorio, as for our future, as you know, our task is not to force it, but to enable it. This is the reason why we are rethinking and improving our personal and commercial lines of it. We are reshaping and streamlining our omni-channel customer experience. We are continuously simplifying our claims management. We are decommissioning our legacy systems. At last but not least, we are jumping in the new Guidewire Cloud solution. So, in few words, we are navigating this complexity to set the course for our future, despite the headwinds. But today, even more than yesterday, timing is key and velocity is crucial. So this is the reason why we are speeding up our delivery. Thanks to the commitment of our people, they are working together as one team, one multidisciplinary team, leveraging also the partnership with our agents for adding value to our ecosystems. Anelita, how many products and offerings have you designed this year? We have reviewed numerous non-motor products, such as the home product, the small-medium enterprise product, and personal accident product, which account for approximately 65% of Aviva non-motor retail premium income. In addition, we have created entirely new products such as mortgage fire product, catastrophe product sold standalone, and liability salvaguai product sold standalone. On this product, we have carried out a pricing work to make the profitability increasing solid even at the level of individual guarantees. We have reviewed the existing guarantees in order to make them more transparent and clear. We built a more simple and innovative digital product. The flexibility of the Godwire platform has allowed us in an agile way to design an appropriate coverage package for each of the change channel used to reflect the peculiarity of the channel in terms of risk selection capacity. Thank you, Anelita. And now, how do you expect to innovate our offering for the future? The Godwire platform has allowed us to be purposeless, to have the digital signature, very important tools during the COVID pandemic, in order to provide assistance and security at the distance and to be able to reach the client wherever they are. In the recent months, we have seen an increase in alternative form of mobility, such as electric scooter, electric hand cycle, that are completely revolutionizing the world of the public transport. We must, therefore, be great in seeing the future needs of the customer. Be ready to react to them, giving them what they need, following their changing lifestyle. Claudia, 
we just launched our first commercial line product, the product liability. What do you think about this product? What are the key differentiators? Yes, we did, and we are very pleased with the result achieved. Thanks to the great collaboration and work of all professionals involved in this project, all our expectations have been satisfied. If I have to use three words, I will define the product liability as a simple, all-inclusive and, most importantly, user-friendly product. In fact, thanks to the flexibility of Gadwar platform, we have been able to create a product which can autonomously quote a risk, which is uh, something new compared to our current operating processes. And thanks to this, we'll be able to give to our clients an instant view on the policy it's going to buy, both regarding coverages and premium. Another innovation is the integration of the risk assessment questionnaire in platform. On Gadware, this process will be 100% mm, paperless and will allow to offer to our clients tailor-made coverages and quotation even faster than before. All this innovation increases the efficiency and rapidity in providing to support our networks. Hi Marco, which is the journey for our commercial lines? What's next? Our goal over the next few years is to develop a new generation of commercial line products to better compete in the market with the aim of providing a superior class of underwriting services. We expect this journey will be uh, even faster by leveraging the high potential of the APD tool. Right from the early stage of the uh, inception phase, APD allows to have a quick and real view on how a new product will be implemented in the platform and is a very, very important feature to minimize the time to market. Our final goal will be to have on the platform a new cutting-edge multi-line policies to allow us to better compete in the market. Hey Marco, digital was one of the mega trends in this year, but now the impression is that we are living a sort of quantum leap on this field. How are we facing this sort of quantum leap on digital? From the beginning, Aviva Plus has been set all around the digital approach. If we consider digital as a trend, we can say that often the word digital is used like a buzzword, but actually for us, is the enabler that sustain key features such as the digital payment, the digital signature and paperless processes. Due to the last events, we saw like a five years step forward in the digital adoption in a really short time. As we have been able to move in advance, this represents today a competitive advantage for us. And today customers start to be more and more familiar with innovation procedures or features inside the insurance propositions. So with the digital portals, we are able to match and find out the best trade-off between the customer's uh, experience and the offer we are able to provide. Thanks, Marco. And what about the future? Seems that customer behaviors is changing. How are we preparing to face this? We analyze customer needs in order to design our proposition and we analyze customer behavior to design their experience. Both elements are somehow merged inside the Godwire digital portals. This is something we are still working on in terms of interface, functionalities, and touch points so that the customer can fulfill their needs inside our omnichannel environment. And we have to expect, due to the predictable of the future, that this is something that will change over and over again. This is even more true for digital capabilities, so we have to be ready to face this challenge and we need to be fast and flexible. So we can say that Guidor Cloud will be the best solution for us. Hi Alessandro, we just started our journey to the new Guidor Cloud solution. Where are we? Upgrade from version 9 to Guidor Cloud has been completed in just two months and we have uh, also deployed it uh, on a dev environment on the Guidewire Cloud. We are still working on integration development and the networking infrastructure to be improved and be compliant with the Guidewire security. We are also leveraging the Guidewire team to achieve this goal. We can summarize benefits of Guidewire Cloud in three main aspects. Service excellence, zero technical debt, thanks to the continuous upgrade version, 
and the best of new business and technology features. Andrea, we are not migrating policies with the Big Bang approach, neither a renewal approach. Which approach we are using and why? We take a kind of snapshot of the policy on the old system and then we migrate only the last snapshot at a given point in time on policy center. Besides, we don't migrate the whole product rating and in order to reduce the complexity. In case of amendment or policy change, we are required to substitute uh, the policy and create a brand new policy on the new product. This should reduce the complexity and uh, in speed up the runoff process of the old policies. So we are migrating policy during a migration on cloud. So we can say this is a double migration. How are we facing this complexity and why? We want to leverage on the Guidewire cloud platform and in particular use the new policy migration tool. And we think that this can reduce the complexity, speed up the process, and we evaluate that the benefits are far higher than the cost. Paolo, we have a temporary coexistence of legacy systems and Guidewire for both policy and claims. How are we managing our claims management? Thanks to the system flexibility, we were able to easily connect Guidewire Claim Center to our both policy systems, Guidewire Policy Center and the Legacy One. So we are able from the beginning to open and manage all new our claims in Guidewire Claim Center, ensuring quality lean management and new features to our claims adjuster. Thank you. Can you summarize in just three words our claims journey for the future? The first is simplification. We take the opportunity to review and simplify all our processes, leveraging to the out of the box. Velocity. Our approach in combination with system flexibility enable us to run quickly with our project delivery. The third is satisfaction the satisfaction of our customer and claims adjuster using new high-performing features, which will continuously improve with new Guidewire Cloud solution. Il nostro modo di lavorare è cambiato nel corso del, del lockdown, eh, in alcuni casi forse anche migliorato. Devo dire che questo è stato un punto di vantaggio rispetto al precedente modo di lavorare, nel senso che attraverso i sistemi comunicativi, la connettività, abbiamo avuto la possibilità di vederci tutti i giorni, lavorare a quattro mani da imprenditori su un progetto che porta ha un risultato eh, vantaggioso reciproco. Anzi, mi, mi piace sottolineare che eh, il prodotto è un prodotto che si avvicina alle esigenze eh, del, de, dell'agenzia, ottimizzando quella user experience che diversamente si riesce a ottenere con altri sistemi. Il grado di personalizzazione, di personalizzazione che abbiamo raggiunto insieme è un grado certamente di, di, di vantaggio competitivo rispetto ad altre situazioni che mi permetta come agente di avere un vantaggio competitivo rispetto a, alla concorrenza. It was the 9th of March when we were suddenly impacted by the pandemic event. We had to immediately make sure that uh, all the people at Aviva could work remotely. So we had to enable all the technological devices, a VPN and all the rest, to make sure that they could work, but also all the norms following the local labor laws. But it was not just about technology or norms. We had a lot of more things to consider. Customers could not go to their agencies to sign policies, to deal with their agents. So we had to immediately put in place uh, new processes uh, with agencies that were closed. And imagine that uh, before that, uh, all the touch points, all the digital touch points, digital payment, digital signature were included in the Aviva Plus uh, software, but agents and customers were somehow reluctant to adopt those technologies. And overnight, with the pandemic, we had to change behavior immediately. So 
agencies in lockdown, the regulator asking for immediate interventions to make sure that we could provide the coverage and assistance to customers. So difficulties to manage claims, experts that could not go on the territory and visit customers. What we have learned for, from this pandemic event, it was a really a painful proof point that all our operating models can change overnight. So it was a proof point that probably insurance uh, is uh, going to face uh, a radical, radical disruption uh, going forward. So what will be the future of the insurance value chain? Those who will win will be those who will be able to offer a variety of new touch points uh, in a revolutionary operating model, in a revolutionary service blueprint. And this will come uh, including intermediaries, in the Italian case, agents that are a fundamental player in the distribution model now and in the future. And the reason why I say this will be a revolution is because if it was possible, and actually it was possible to change overnight uh, the way of working of our employees in days, uh, remote working, if it was possible, and actually it was possible to have customers changing their behaviors when it comes to sign the contract, negotiate with the agent uh, and uh, uh, paying uh, their, their policy, if it was all this possible, it means that we are at the very beginning of the big revolution in insurance. And this new challenge needs uh, an agile, smart, flexible, non-hierarchical insurance company able to think and act out of the box and deliver proposition and services to the customers in a snap. There will be three main drivers of this revolution and we already started to jump on board of these three drivers when we started the Aviva Plus program. The first driver is about technology, so that we decided to adopt uh, the Guidewire Insurance Suite at the beginning of the program as the first-in-class uh, software for the insurance industry. But on top of that, we also decided to jump on board uh, the Guidewire Cloud Services solution. The second driver is uh, about Agile. Agile methodology that now has also expanded to remote working and not just a collocation in presence, where all the Aviva employees are interacting in this methodology with a number of external parties in an open collaboration framework where the right ideas win on hierarchies. And open innovation as the third driver, an open environment, an open ecosystem, an open business model, an open relationship with all the external parties involved in the program. And somebody can ask, uh, what about intellectual property? The only protection we will have uh, with, for intellectual property will be to be the fastest company to innovate. So finally, weird times. We are facing uh, headwinds, we are uh, facing storms, and we don't know exactly what's happening next. But more importantly, we know how to navigate in these uncharted waters. <laughs>